If Huda Beauty is a name that sounds familiar to you, you're probably right. A brand started by Huda Katan and her sisters Mona and Alia, Huda Beauty was a highly popular beauty blog before Huda decided to launch her line of custom false eyelashes in 2011. Cut to 2019, Huda Beauty is an expanding brand in the world of beauty and the sisters now also have their own reality show, Huda Boss, to document how they really run their business. In an exclusive interview with us at MEA Worldwide, sisters Huda and Mona Katan told us what to expect from the new season of Huda Boss, how they balance the work and family lives, and what to expect from the brand in the coming months. Talking about how she developed an interest in beauty and makeup, Huda attributes it to the time that Mona was a part of a number of beauty pageants, and Huda was the one to do her hair and makeup. She says, it was such a creative outlet for me and that's truthfully why I am still obsessed with beauty today. It lets the creativity flow and has such a transformative power that can truly change the way someone feels about themselves. Beauty is a powerful tool and I am here to help share that with the world. When asked about how her beauty brand came to be, Huda recalls that it was Mona's idea to sell the custom lashes and that her older sister Alia was the first to put seed money into the endeavor. Mona, however, joined operations full-time a little later. Explaining her involvement, Mona says, I could never say no to working with her to chase her dreams and now mine through our fragrance band Kayali. Admittedly, it took me a little while to start working for Huda Beauty full-time simply because we weren't making enough money to support ourselves. But why a reality show about their lives as entrepreneurial sisters? Huda thinks it's been a great way to show her fans what really goes behind the business that looks so simple and beautiful on the outside. She claims, We wanted to show the raw sides of scaling a business and building a beauty empire while also showing that we're real people too and we go through the same ups and downs like any other family. Huda Boss is meant to show the good, the bad and the ugly. In the first season of the show, viewers saw how difficult it was for Huda and her sisters to manage their work with their personal lives and how the stresses from both spheres would blend together. Mona says there's now a rhythm to how the sisters function when they're not at work. Extrapolating on the same, she said, We actually have a rule where we switch off on weekends and we're not allowed to talk about work. This really helps us enjoy our family time together without the weight of work and it's been so helpful and healthy for us. She even said that working with family is both rewarding and challenging because of the amount of loyalty and trust between the sisters. Teasing what we might see in season 2 of Huda Boss, here's what Huda had to say. It was our second year operating under investment funding which has been really exciting for the company. We hope this season shows everyone what it really takes to scale a beauty business and be a beauty mogul and influencer while also showcasing our more vulnerable personal sides. And when it comes to her vision for the brand, Huda didn't hold back. I see the future of the beauty industry as a super inclusive space with no rules, just inspiration and support and we are here for that. My hope is that beauty will never be the same because of Huda Beauty. We're sure the rest of the family is on board with this set of plans. The new season of Huda Boss airs on Facebook Watch every Tuesday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to check out the other videos on our channel and don't forget to subscribe.